In today's beginner-friendly art tutorial, I'm sharing all the flowers that I just can't stop drawing. Hey friends, Shada Campbell here. Question for you, do you have flower doodles you go back to again and again? Today I'm sharing the flowers that I could draw in my sleep. It is so nice to have some floral doodles that you go back to again and again, and these are mine. Now the first one couldn't be easier. Begin with an oval and then make a messy shape around that oval. Put a dark V right below, add some stems, branches, leaves, you get it. You can do a cluster of two and they look so good together. The next one I'll call a carnation. It's sort of a variation on the same thing. Instead of ovals though, you're going to do a more circular form. So begin with a little circular starburst and then do that rounded, messy, ragged circle all the way around. You can put a few lines in there for texture to show that there's multiple petals, although these are very basic doodles. We're not doing a lot of line shading or anything like that. Add a stem, and then maybe this time instead of a second flower, we add a shaggy little bud instead, okay? So to start us off, that's my poppy and carnation. Now the next one you'll recognize if you're a fan of the channel, and it's my simple rose. Begin with a cluster of dots, Surround those dots with some tightly clustered curving lines and then go around and do a messy circle to form the rose. Add a couple more lines and finish it off with one or two pointed leaves. Nice big floppy leaf and color those in dark when you're using a brush pen to show the difference between what is leaf and what is flower. Need a little extra guidance with these floral illustrations? Well, good news, there's a worksheet this week. To print one out for yourself, head over to my Patreon and simply sign up. It's only two bucks a month and it's a great way to support this channel. There's an enormous backlog of content over there waiting for you to enjoy worksheets, coloring pages, extra videos, and lots more. Another favorite of mine is the lilac, and this is fun to draw with a brush pen. You're going to begin by doing a few clustered ovals, and then keep drawing ovals and splotches and messy circles, but start adding in a few little flowers as well, little four petal flowers. As you scribble these shapes, try to kind of create a cone shape, then add a branch and a stem and maybe one or two leaves. And all of a sudden you've got this really graphic, pretty lilac. I use flower doodles on everything from greeting cards to journal spreads and probably my most used doodle is just a simple leaf design. There's so many ways to vary this, but I like to do a stem with pairs of pointed oval shaped leaves. And then at the end, you can put a little bud, a flower, or just a cluster of dots to make it look like berries or tiny blossoms. This next one is really fun to illustrate with a brush pen, it's sort of a Queen Anne's lace or yarrow. Start with a cluster of dots, kind of a semicircle or oval shape, then join them all together with a bunch of tiny curving lines. Bring those lines to a point, add a stem, and you've got it. You're going to cluster two or three of these blossoms together, joining all of them with these nice straight stems. And then to finish it off, add some shaggy fern-like leaves. Next up, I have a couple sort of quintessential flowers. This one's kind of a loose rose or poppy. You start with a cluster of dots, go around, add these messy petals, just do one at a time, make the ones at the bottom a little bit smaller, add some more lines and dots to that stamen at the center, a few curving lines on the petals, and you have this beautiful graphic floral. I love drawing little flower branches. Think of a cherry blossom or apple blossom. Start with just that classic flower, like a circle and then four petals. Maybe put some dots at the center or just leave it white. Then you're going to draw a stem curving down towards it. And from there, you can add stems and more flowers. Maybe make the next flowers a little smaller, add some tiny leaves, even a bud or two if you like. And you can keep going with this one, filling in as much space as you need to fill. Keep adding leaves and flowers and buds and you'll end up with a beautiful cherry blossom. This wouldn't be a Shada Campbell video if we didn't do a little lavender. You can start with a curving thin stem in the center like I'm doing for the second one and then just draw little hearts and ovals all along it. For some reason for the first one I didn't do the stem first but I think it's a good idea too. You can add some long thin leaves, just do a simple swipe of that brush and that's your lavender.
Sunflowers are barely more than a scribble and clover is one of them. I like to just make this really messy shape. That's the blossom, kind of a raggedy circle. You can draw two or three joined together with some stems and then add a few small leaves. Those were super simple, so let's take on something more interesting. The next one is a slightly more detailed rose. Start with a little scribbly spiral at the center and then go around and around doing little C-curve lines and broken petals until you've made the rose, the scribbly rose, as large as you like. These look good in pairs. Maybe you make one a little larger than the other, although I didn't do that here. <laughs> and then frame them with some small dark leaves. I've had this YouTube channel for eight years, and that means eight years of drawing little berries. These are my go-to. You just sketch a sort of squarish oval, give it a little burst of lines at the top, do a cluster of two, three, four, however many, join them all together with straight stems, and finish them off with some pairs of tiny oval-shaped leaves. And we can't overlook a simple leaf. Start with a line, go around the line and make this long messy shape. And then just do a few little veining lines at the center. There's your perfect autumn leaf. Okay, how about a fern? Start with a stem and then do these little brush marks at the top. And then you're going to draw pairs of branches and on each pair of branches, you make the little oval brush marks that you did at the top. And every time the branch gets a little longer and there's a few more little brush marks or leaves on each one. And that's how I design a simple fern. If you've been following along and your page is starting to look full, now is the time to play around and experiment just have fun and draw some tiny little delicate leaves or some really basic graphic flowers. You know, as I said, I've had this channel eight years and that's eight years of just doodling flowers and leaves. And why flowers and leaves? Because they're pretty, but also because they're hard to mess up. These are forms that you can play with and have fun with. They're so recognizable. You can draw a blob and call it a flower and everyone is gonna know what it is. Eight years of flowers has brought a lot of joy to my life, and I hope it's done the same for you. Today, I wanted to share some of my favorite florals because you should have flowers that you can draw in your sleep too. Head over to my Patreon if you'd like an illustration worksheet to help you through today's video. It's only two bucks a month to join, $22 for the year, and it's a great way to support a channel you love.